Liebe Leute, Gamescom 2017, natürlich ist Inside Playstation wieder am Start. Man sieht es schon, wir sind auf der großen Sony-Bühne und das nicht ganz zufällig, denn wie könnte es anders sein? Wir haben auch dieses Jahr wieder einen, einen Stargast. Natürlich, unseren lieben Freund, der uns seit Jahren hier begleitet. Lasst ihn uns zusammen willkommen heißen. Welcome, Jim Ryan! Woo! Yeah! Wow! Hey! I think that's gonna be the most ridiculous entrance Let that off. I've ever made. So how are you? Are you are you Very fine? Well. Are you stressed out already? No, no, I, I was on vacation, but I, um, oh, I put my vacation good. on hold to come and see you guys at Gamescom. Because, yeah. Oh, that's uh, nice. Yeah. It's a really important part of the calendar for me. It's always a pleasure. Yeah, uh, you said it. Uh, it's a very big, uh, big Gamescom this year because uh, one of the thing is, uh, things is we got our Chancellor Angela, Angela Merkel uh, mm -hmm. yeah, coming uh, here, and that, that's kind of huge. That's deal. a big deal. Yeah, uh, and you know, having the uh, having the Chancellor come by Gamescom yeah. is a really big deal. I think it really just um, it's a very tangible demonstration of just yeah. how important and mainstream yes. uh, gaming is these days uh, in Germany, and uh, you couldn't have imagined that. 10 or 15 years ago, it would never true. have happened. Yeah. Uh, but That's for her to come, it's a very big deal. Yeah, it is. Will you have a talk with her? Um, <laughs> I am going to be on the stand when she comes. All right. Uh, whether or not she wants to have a chat with um, somebody from uh, from Brexit land, that's uh, that's the better <laughs> oh, yes. But we'll, we'll, we'll see. I'm Ooh. sure it'd be very nice to meet her if that was possible. <laughs> but of course, we're here now to see the games, to see what the Sony booth got to offer. And the first thing uh, we're going to talk about is PlayLink. So. What do you think of a concept like PlayLink? Is it necessary, and what is it? Well, I, I think um, you know we've uh, we've now sold through 60 million PS4s, so the the kind of core gamer audience is pretty well bought in, and now we're looking to find ways to appeal to a new yeah. audience, a less engaged audience, a, a younger audience, perhaps an older audience, and people who might be a little bit intimidated by the DualShock 4 controller with all its buttons and its knobs and its you know touchscreen thing. Um, so the, the the thinking was to really. Um, find an interface with the game that people were very familiar with, very comfortable with, and nothing better than the smartphone. So uh, it, the initial reaction has been absolutely fantastic. People are loving the games, they're loving the way that they play the games, um, and these are social experiences. That's, that's yeah. one of the most important things. They're, they're there to allow people to interact with each other and have fun. Yeah, sure. Shall we have a look at it? Let's go. Let's check All right. it out. So Jim, now we're here at the PlayLink booth. It's very comfy. I think I found my it spot. Is. Yes. Well, yeah, it is. It is kind here. of something really weird has happened what? since we were just up on the stage. Anna seems to have grown. She's taller than me, and she's taller than you now. That should be my place. I know. Uh, I know. Yeah. Ah, I'm on but, the throne. <laughs> anyway, uh, talking about PlayLink, um, I I always uh, kind of remember and don't laugh about it. But I remember uh, SingStar on PlayStation 2 because that was uh, too some some kind of game that anyone could play, very simple to use, and you know you get the party going. Is there some link between SingStar and Play? Yeah, there is, and it's uh, it's really interesting that you raise that because um, you know very uh, we live now in, a, in an age where the German market, German gamer, is um, it massively important to us. Uh, but right back at the start, PS1 times, we had real trouble connecting with the German gamer. <laughs> Very sort of PC really? um, <laughs> orientated in, in those days. It, it was very hard. The brand didn't resonate. We couldn't get it right in Germany. Um, and we did. We tried lots of things, and the thing that actually worked was SingStar. And um, the Germans, uh, the Germans, the Germans. Uh, 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 <laughs> singing. Sometimes I believe beer was involved. Uh, of course. I don't know about that. But uh, <laughs> SingStar was a huge success, and it was a big success uh, for many reasons. I think it was a great gaming experience, but it was also a big social experience. Yeah. And that's what we're trying to do again with PlayLink. So did you did you look at any features in the success of SingStar and try to adapt them into the PlayLink label? Uh, Something you know, that worked really well. Two basic things. Uh, the first thing, very easy to play, yeah. and the second thing, fun. Fun, yeah. Fun. 
and fun is our motto as well. So <laughs> yes. So are you? I hear you were a great sing star player in the back yes. in the day. So. She is. I'm pretty she is. good. She is. <laughs> and she's a good dancer as well. So it's kind of overkill. I yeah. can do it all. <laughs> yeah. So are you playing? Uh, maybe that's you or other playing titles with your family? Maybe? Yeah. You know, I've got. Um, you, you probably heard this last year. I've got two small girls, and they're a year older than they were <laughs> last year. Oh. Um, and uh, there's a family mode. Uh, on that's you, and we've had a go at that, uh, and that's great fun for them. Yeah, yeah. they really enjoyed it. And you know, obviously, uh, the game is localized for, for different cultural yes. tastes, and it's not just localized for language; it's it's localized for, for different humors as well. So, you know, German humor perhaps different to Italian humor, perhaps <laughs> different to, to British humor. So, all of these things we tried to you know just get right so that the game is really perfectly attuned yeah. to, to each individual market. And you said a German humor. There we is. don't have any. Yeah. That's oh. Oh, oh, come on. I mean, how many times we left already today? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, you talked about uh, the feedback. The feedback is, is quite good uh, for playling. Is there something that, that really uh, really uh, catches your eye uh, in terms of the feedback? What, what are the features that people like the most? I, you know, it goes, it goes back to the, um, the points I made earlier that easy to use, people yeah. like that. Everybody has a smartphone, everybody has a tablet. And the fact that people are just enjoying it. You, you, you know, we, we've, we did a lot of research uh, before we uh, introduced that to you. And uh, I, I personally observed quite a lot of it. And the thing was, people were just enjoying it. They were just laughing. They were having fun. They were having yeah. fun with their friends. And that, that's, what, that's all that we want. Yeah, that's true. And we got a, a lot of other uh, titles coming up. It's not That's You, it's uh, Frantics and Hidden Agenda and, and stuff like that. Is there some, some idea, some concept, some, some game idea that you would like, uh, love to see realized as a PlayLink game? I would like to That's see... That's your pitch now. Use yeah, it. My, my, my pitch now would be uh, for a worldwide studios, whoever, you know, more family stuff I think would be great. Okay. Uh, uh, and um, not just for a worldwide studios, third party publishers, we're yeah, talking yeah. to them too, and many of their properties would, would lend themselves really well to, uh, to, to, to the PlayLink concept. Yeah, you heard it. Developers. So here we are now at the Uncharted booth. Have you actually tried it? This one, no, um, but. Hasn't PlayStation 4 been well served by the Uncharted franchise? There's the Uncharted trilogy, which yep. was fantastic, great value, bringing all those legacy Uncharted games to PS4, and then obviously Uncharted 4. Mm -hmm. um, and then, in an amazingly short space of time, we have Uncharted Lost Legacy. So I think PlayStation 4 gamers are really very privileged with how they've been served by Naughty Dog this time around. Sure. Have you um, been involved in this kind of process? Because actually, I heard it was planned to be a DLC and then it kind of developed itself into a new game. Do you know anything about it? Yeah, in initially it was planned to be DLC, but um, a number of us on the publishing side of the business, uh, we took a look at it and thought, this is way more than DLC. You know, we can have a proper Blu-ray release, we can put it out at a great price. Uh, which is what we've done, but you know there are many, many hours of uh, a really great gaming entertainment uh, with yeah. Uncharted Lost Legacy, and um, I think ships this week. So uh, you know we're, we're hugely excited by this. It's going to be great. Yeah. So did you witness the process from Uncharted Lost Legacy becoming a completely new game from actually being a DLC planned? Yeah, it was a very, uh, very interesting evolution in um, the way we thought about. Uh, thought about this initially, as you say, it was planned to be DLC. But then, um, those of us on the publishing side of the business, we looked at it and thought, "Hey, this is way more than DLC. You know, this is a proper game. We can put something out. Many, many hours of, of really great Uncharted gaming. Put it mm -hmm. out at a great price. Publish it on a Blu-ray. Make it a standalone experience. And that's what we've done. It ships this week. Really, really excited about this. So yeah, you mentioned it, it ships this week, it comes out on Wednesday actually, and there's so many gaming stations around here. Um, do you want the players to experience it first, so in the same week it comes out, they can also yeah, try I, it I here? Yeah, I think that's cool, you know, there are going to be hundreds of thousands of people coming through here, I think to have, uh, and Charlotte is huge in Germany, um, yes. and for uh, German gamers to have the 
and the possibility to play it in the weaker chips, I think that's absolutely fantastic. And do you have a favorite character in the Uncharted universe? Oh, it's going to be Nathan Drake. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be Nathan Drake, of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> and what do you think about Chloe having the lead now? Well, I, I think um, having a female lead, it really, um, you know, it just, it adds a little bit to the franchise and it takes it in a different direction. And, and something's been going for, uh, oh, I don't know how many years it is since the first Uncharted, but to, st to take it in a, mm -hmm. uh, in a different direction, I, I think is, um, it's a good thing, it's a necessary thing, it refreshes, it rejuvenates. It can only be sure. good, I think. Holen wir uns unsere Scheibe. Und ein paar Waffen. Ein paar Waffen. Sorry, Kumpel. So, guys, this thing behind us is no coincidence nice. because uh, one of the next major t uh, titles coming up is Gran Turismo Sport, obviously, yep. and it's got the VR support. Um, I have to ask you, did you did you try it out? I did. I did. It is yeah? absolutely amazing. <laughs> it is the closest thing that you will ever experience to to driving a car, and obviously. Someone like me is not going to drive yeah. a car like that anyway, but it, it is just amazing. Okay, uh, talking about VR, uh, what is the status quo of uh, VR right, uh, right now? What is what is coming up? How's the feedback? Yeah, How's it going? It's going really well. You know, we're yeah. uh, about nine months in now. Um, we've sold over a million uh, sets. Um, there are over a hundred VR experiences already out in the market, which is an amazing number. It's uh, way ahead of anything that we were expecting. Um, on average, people who have a set are buying about five games and join about five. Oh, okay. uh, so you know, it's a really healthy ecosystem building. You've got these little bite-sized VR experiences, but then you've got the VR mode yeah. in full games like Gran Turismo Sport or Resident Evil or Final Fantasy XV. So there's a whole range of stuff, and yeah. people are still really developers still really coming to terms with what makes a great VR experience. Yeah, well, it is a new feature. You have to get accustomed to it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it's it's a totally new form of entertainment. You know, if you go yeah. through PlayStation One, Two, Three, Four, it's kind of incremental. <laughs> but then it? VR comes along, and it's yeah. it's a real step change. So yeah. uh, that, that's always exciting. And I have to ask as well: Can you give us a sneak peek into the future of VR? Some great things coming up? Well, Something you can talk about? I'd have to kill you if I told you everything that's well, uh, happening in VR, which would be all for a little the show. Um, a, a, a little unpleasant <laughs> on this, uh, this fine show. But you know, Sony is um, intrigued and fascinated. By virtual reality, uh, it is possible. It's maybe quite likely that it will form uh, a meaningful part of the uh, of the future of interactive entertainment. And you can see more and more okay. uh, businesses coming in uh, and uh, making their own experiments in virtual reality. Let's leave it like that. Let's okay. leave it like that. And you're still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but coming back to uh, Gran Turismo Sport, a lot of people are excited for, for this one. Yeah. What would you say, what is the, the magic of Gran Turismo? Why is, is this series still around? Well, because the games are great. You, you know, when you go back um, to the first Gran Turismo on PS1, uh, that was... That's a long time. A long time ago, yeah. but it was, it was a totally transformational game. And then uh, GT3, for example, on PS2, that kind of really ignited the whole PlayStation 2 yeah. uh, platform and established uh, what was to become our best-selling uh, ever platform. The PS4 uh, is fast catching it up, um, and and so, and so it's gone. You know that each each is each of the Gran Turismo games has been kind of platform defining uh, for PlayStation, and we believe that uh, Gran Turismo Sport will. will definitely fall into that category. And how is working with Yamauchi uh, son? Because he's such a genius and obviously he knows what he's doing. Um, does he maybe have some more freedom uh, than other people in, uh, in no, trying I, I to create No, I think that's a kind of um, popular conception that exists. But yeah. you know, everybody has to, uh, Sony's a business and it has shareholders uh, that, that we're accountable to. So everybody has to play by large with the same rules. I think yeah. the point is, but with something like Gran Turismo, with any Gran Turismo, the game has to be as close to perfect uh, as it possibly can be, which is, you know, you spoke about the magic uh, of Gran yeah. Turismo, and that's because a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of effort goes into making it like that, and you can't rush it, right? It, no. has, it has to be as close to perfect as we could possibly make it, and Gran Turismo, no exception to that. And it is close to release, right? October the 18th, yeah. Not long to wait now. Yeah. I know you're a speed freak, so... I uh, am. Yeah, the, 
Yeah. Don't go to try to so check Anna down. And she sings, she dances, she, yeah, she's know, a speed yeah. freak. I can do it all. That's kind of no, rock and roll. But before we move on back to the stage, can I keep that car? Sure, yeah, absolutely. You can help yourself. Great, thank you. Our best friend, Jim Ryan. <laughs> now it has to be a circle of yeah, course we indeed, have to indeed where it all began it's yeah. magic is it though oh okay I'm not, I'm not i thought convinced. i was the only one using magic here yeah, but well. yeah you never know there's one final thing we have to address and that is playstation now can you tell us what playstation now is so playstation now is a streaming service for playstation games it began a couple of years ago in north america mm -hmm. and then was uh, introduced in the UK with PS3 games. Um, we have recently enhanced the service to include a selection of PS4 oh, right. uh, games, which is really exciting. Um, we have, so the, the games can stream either to PlayStation devices uh, or to PCs. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've run a beta in Germany. It's gone really, really well. We're very excited by that. All right. um, and stay tuned for some announcements about a launch in Germany very, very soon. Okay, that sounds exciting. Uh, you mentioned the PC gamers, that's something new. How important is that to Sony to include PC gamers into uh, exclusives even? Yeah, we, um, we're always looking for ways to grow the PlayStation market, to grow the PlayStation ecosystem, to bring more people in. Um, and for PC gamers, and Germany obviously historically has been a very strong PC market, to have the opportunity to try uh, games that they previously haven't been able to enjoy, we think it's just great. And if they like them, that's great. And maybe yeah. they come across and they, uh, they join the PlayStation family. All right. That's it for today, I think. <laughs> Ja, äh, Leute, das war wieder unser kleines Gespräch mit Jim Ryan. Es ist jedes Jahr echt eine Freude, es ist sehr schön, es macht eine Menge Spaß. Für euch äh, heißt es, bald öffnet die Gamescom ihre Pforten, denn wir sind quasi vor offiziellem Start hier. Oh ja. Deswegen ist die Bühne jetzt auch relativ leer und wir konnten uns hier frei bewegen. Das sieht aber bald ganz anders aus, dann könnt ihr auch durch die Hallen rennen, alles ausprobieren hier am Sony-Stand. Es gibt eine Menge zu zocken, ihr habt es gesehen, also kommt vorbei, äh, spielt, trefft uns, sagt mal Hallo. Und ansonsten ja, bleibt uns eigentlich nur zu sagen, viel Spaß auf der Gamescom 2017. And uh, thanks again, Jim. See you next yeah. year. And next year we're going to have a coach. Fine. Oh, definitely. Yes. Yeah, you can put that on the show. Yeah, yeah. great. Vielen Dank, Anna. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.